Hello there, Master Hellish here and welcome to today's vlog which takes place in the Hellish cave with the new and improved blue background. Yeah, it was blue before but it's slightly better now and I've got a bit of blue in front of me. I um, hope you're all doing well and uh, I, I have been doing well recently but I've been playing a lot of Crossout. Not a lot, a lot. Um, a lot for me. I don't really play games much. I play the games that I make the videos for and I play the games that I make the live streams for but in between making the videos and making the live streams I don't really have a lot of time to play games but with Crossout you can load up the game have a four or five minute battle and then just go leave it again um, you can minimize it or log out and come back again another time soon. Or you might just log in just to build a bit of vehicle and stuff. So uh, for me, Crossout has started to fill that little bit of gap at that time where I feel like I want to just do a little bit chilling out here in the Hellish Cave and just have a little bit of fun. And, and I am finding it a lot of fun. I mean, I'm a big fan of the TV show Robot Wars. If you don't know, people used to build robots they would be up to i think about 110 kilograms uh, in weight big little big ish they, they're bigger in real life than they looked on the tv okay uh, and they would fight these robots in the arena and this game ticks a lot of those sorts of boxes for me you you get all these components you can configure them and put them together in so many different ways and then take that thing you've created and go fight people um, so we discovered this game when we was looking for uh, more games to add to our bow of um, another string to our bow of games uh, at our LAN parties. And um, last LAN party, me and the guys just before it was looking, and we found this game amongst others. And we did some testing, and we're like, "Oh yeah, this works. It easily installs, and yeah, it's easy to play. You don't need an account. It links it with Steam, and oh yes, we can create a group and we can play as a group. Okay, that'll do. Right." And then we went to the LAN, and it was one of the most popular games that everybody was playing. I don't think everybody played it all the time, but it was very popular. It dominated great swathes of the LAN party. And after the LAN, it kind of faded off, and we didn't play that much. The game's had a few upgrades since then, and um, I've got back into playing it again. Mainly because I can pick it up in five minutes and put it back down in five minutes. The game I used to play for that was Rocket League. But I got so fed up of the community on that game um, that I've pretty much been Rocket League unless I'm playing with my friends. If I'm if I can get a team of friends together, I'll I'll play it and I'll enjoy it. But if I'm not playing it on my own, um, uh, it just I don't get on with the community in that uh, different mindset to me. But cross out seems a little bit better i'm enjoying it now a lot of people um that i've spoken to about cross art they're like oh i've heard of that isn't it pay to win i don't really want to play and all that and and there's an aspect to the game where you can buy coins with w real world money and yeah first game i've ever done it i did a little bit of it too um after the land party i got a bit excited and i was like oh there's an offer on on buying some coins i wonder what i can do with that and so I, I spent about I think it was two English pounds maybe three English pounds and, and bought some in-game coins and just had some fun with building different things um, but but this is the important thing when you build something in the game it's given a power score uh, so if I go um, here we go we're in the game now if I go to build you can see this is the vehicle that I'm currently looking at in the bottom right hand corner here there's a power score of 2,596. Now, whether I've paid for those components or not, that's the power score on my vehicle. And when you fight, you fight people of similar ability, similar power scores. So it's balanced. You know, if, if you just play the game lots and, and build up your components and build up your levels, great. And if you play a bit but you've paid a bit and you've built up components that way, well, you can't really tell the difference. Um, there are very few things in the game that's unique. I, I think I've only found one that is if you pay. Um, but, power score makes it even. And 
it doesn't worry me. It's the first game that doesn't worry me about it, even though I may have actually got some myself. This is a bit, one of the vehicles I've got here. It's a, uh, a very, a, to me, it's quite a low-class vehicle. It's got three saw blades on the front. They do really high damage, but you've got to get in close. And getting in close with a load of vehicles that mainly have ranged weapons can be difficult. But if we test drive this one, you'll see that there's not a lot of heavy armor on this. But it is relatively fast. It's very relatively quick. It's got a rocket booster on the back as well. And you can see that it's doing quite a lot of sliding. It's got a quite a good power to weight ratio. And if we take it over one of these ramps, you see that there's a bit of more weight in the front than there is in the back. It nose dives. And yeah, it's um it's good. And I've got steering in both front and back wheels. That's a good way to have a a good turn in circle and you can see this vehicle over here is a copy of my own vehicle so if I attack myself from the side you can see that I'm pulling my own vehicle apart very quickly there it's deadly if you get in close so um, let's give you another example um, that was what I called the muncher it's the baby muncher I've also made um, a higher class vehicle here um, this one is um, it's got a better cab inside, it's got more saw blades. Uh, if we go to build, you can see that this is a 4,331 power score vehicle. Now, I did used to have one that was exactly like this, but had more armor on, uh, but I, I didn't keep that. I might rebuild it. Um, but you get so many different things. This is a small little vehicle with a couple of cannons on top. Should we take that for a drive? We'll take that for a quick drive. Test drive, off we go. So here we go. You can see there's there's a big vehicle over there. We can fire some cannons at that. Now the problem with this vehicle, it's it, it's super small, it's super lightweight. It's really mobile, really agile, it's really good for getting in places quick, doing your shots and getting out. Um, the problem is, is that it can have a tendency to flip backwards a little bit. You can see that the recoil on the weapons is lifting up those front wheels a little bit. You can see, there you go, you get a bit of recoil. But you can see that I'm shooting off the, the parts of my own car there. Um, not destroying it as quickly or as bad as the other car, but I can do this from a distance. I can just pick bits off until the whole thing explodes. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Uh, and then there's a more meatier version of that, the Thunk Thunk. Uh, it, it's got the bigger cab, um, it's got a little bit, it's got more engines in it, I believe, for, and it's got heat sinks and cooling. Um, again, it's got a bit of a funny turning circle. It's very tight, still quite quick, it hasn't got a lot of armour, but it's got more, more firepower. Same weapons, more firepower. And that's that. That I, I I mean, it is. I'm having fun with it. It's great. Let's take one of these into battle. Let's load this version of the Muncher, and we'll load a battle. Um, I do plan on continuing to play this for a while. Um, oh, quite quick. Every, sometimes you have to wait a little while for a battle. Sometimes you don't. Okay, this is quite a small close quarter battle. It could be good for us. Here we go. So, I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to choose to turn this way. I'm going to give myself a little speed boost. I kind of want to be one of the first people to the point. I want to beat the opposition to this corner here. Now, let's see if anybody's coming this way. We're getting into opposition territory here now. Look, there's still some people that haven't even left the starting point yet. And I've crashed into one guy here. He's pretty screwed. I'm screwed. Everything explodes. I've got this little thing here. No, I'm down. Look, I did a lot of damage to that guy, but unfortunately for me, I actually got there too quick. I got there too quick, too fast, and I was surrounded by the enemy. Um, I was hoping just to pick off a straggler. Straggler? straggler? Not a straggler. A straggler. Um, but it, it, unfortunately, there was quite a few of them. Let's try again. Okay, we're here off with another battle. This one actually plays to my strengths a little bit more. There's a bigger area to fight in. Well, a little bit bigger. But there's lots of buildings to hide and, and sneak around. So what we're going to do 
is you see look half these guys are quite slow moving some of these vehicles in here are fantastic a lot of you got you get a lot of jeeps and buggies but you get some tank like vehicles as well um, you can have hover stuff is oh right there's the first enemy I'm kind of just gonna sneak in here this guy's pretty much had it now there we go he's gone munched most of his side away now there's a lot of people here I'm gonna get out if I can I'm stuck on my own teammate because he just rammed me with his what appears to be ramp on the front of his vehicle we're gonna go around this way I'm gonna get out of the way I'm gonna use a booster to get round hopefully we can just come round here oh what there's a couple of people around here making him a treat oh and that was a bad move by that guy I'm in his side yeah enemy destroyed got him I'm a little bit stuck here now I'm stuck I've lost I've lost a wheel I've lost two wheels I've only got two wheels left. Let's see if I can still drive this. Oh, almost. Right. Let's let's just see what I can do. Using the... Uh, oh, this is not good. This is why you should put armor around your wheels. Oh, I'm going to lose the other way. I've got... I'm losing my armor. Quickly. Rapidly. Am I going to get close to this guy? Yes! I got close, he made the mistake of going too near me. I managed to kill someone with two wheels. Right, I've got one wheel now. I've got one wheel and 17 fuel left. I don't know what I can do. Oh, no. I seem to be able to turn quite well when in reverse. I don't know if anybody can help me. I'm going to try and make my way to the objective. I'm, I'm quite close by. No. I'm getting a little bit stuck. Let's try a little bit of boosting. Ah, I didn't get to the objective in time. We won. Oh, well, there we go. That just uh, goes to show that um, you never really know what's going to happen in those battles. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It's a little bit longer than sometimes what I do, and a little bit different to what I do. It's more like some of the stuff I do on my gaming channel. But thanks for watching. Um, maybe you'll play some cross out with me sometime. Like I said, it's free on Steam. Maybe give it a try. Um, oh, by the way, not spawn. Um, not been paid to say this, just enjoying this and sharing my thoughts with you. Thanks for watching. If you've got any thoughts, ideas, or questions about Crossout, please put them down in the comments of the video, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.